pretty far. I mean, the whole fuselage is done. From here to here is supposed to be open. These are hinges and that opens. From there to there, and I believe from here to the front should be seamless. Of the ultra thin super glue. You can see the drop there um, with my micro brush. If you can see that, I think the difference in height is addressed. Now I gotta let that dry and then buff it down. All right, there's my first repair. I think that might work. Uh, a little bit more toward the end there. And then I'll start on that one. Okay. And that's the other side. I think I preserved the uh, rivet lines. We'll see when I pull up that tape. And here's my fix. That front and back there should be smooth. Now I haven't painted it yet, but it's way better than it was. Okay, just unmasked that, and uh, yeah, I think that came out pretty good. On this side, that front, uh, I had to struggle with, and then the back, you know, again, came out good. Uh, just gotta finish up the details here, so we need some silver on the two spotlights underneath. There's a piece in the center on the bottom. There's... Uh, some spots on the landing gear on each side um, and then that hook on the crane and the center of the rotors but that'll come after i deal with this so this piece and all the parts that go on it will have to be silver that'll come later and then on the lights on the crane side uh, blue on that light and then red on this light here I already did the light there, and I already did the light on the bottom in the red. And then the clear coat. And the other thing I have to remember is the uh, windshield wipers. Putting these final two handles on. You can see it. One in there, and now the other one goes up in that rectangle on top. I just uh, clear coated with the pledge. Um, so I've got a clear coat on that nose to put that 10 down, and then I just clear coated everything else. Um, clear coated that PE, those PE handles. Now I'll wait for that to dry, and then I'll touch them with the gray. Before I start talking about this PE, uh, I unmasked the helicopter. Hey guys, long time no see. And, you know, so the clear coat is finished. I did those doors. That's, uh pretty much done but for the rotors and the uh, crane which is sitting there waiting um, so yeah I think that came out pretty good so here we go um, uh, so I've been researching this and um, this is my Dan's cool videos um, and while this is a four rotor the kit provides um, a four rotor blade and a three rotor blade and the pieces look identical, but for the fact that it's a three or a four. This piece goes back and touches behind there. So now I understand, you know, what it does and, and you know, how it should look from the sides and the angle. So now I'm going to turn to the instructions. Uh, mark these as done. So as I think I showed earlier, I created these, you know, I blew these up and, and, um, so that I could kind of work with it before I deal with this. And I determined that this is kind of the order you should do it in for each one until you... So the three around the outside touch the rotors and the one in the middle touches the hub. And really, you know, once you have that folded like that, I mean, it has to be that distance and it has to be consistent all the way around. And, and what I learned on, on the model, it, you know, it's such a good model and everything is so precise that if you're off in one spot, it throws the whole rest of the thing off. And, you know, I'm a mediocre modeler at best. And this kit is really at the edge of my abilities. <clears throat> and this is just one example. All right, let's give this a try on the real thing. So I show this sped up because uh, I wanted you to see how much goes into this. So with that wedge-like um, blade, I went around and, and cut each end. 
and then uh, with these very flat pliers that I have for just this purpose, get it in there so that just that tip is sticking up. And then with my diamond file, uh, file that off. So you see here I'm moving it and getting it just that tip sticking up and then file that down. So yeah, all this takes a lot of time uh, to get it just right. So now that I have it cut out, then I have to bend it into shape. And I also show this sped up because I want you to see what I went through trying to just find the right tools to hold it. My light is also a magnifying glass and I, I forgot that I was even recording when I used it to look through here. But um, so I'm kind of going back and forth trying to figure out which tool can I use to hold this to, to bend it in the proper shape? And those pliers were just way too big, so I finally decided to just go with my uh, tweezers and was able to get those um, bottom shapes on each rung, so to speak, um, the way I needed them. Uh, and so just worked my way around all three to get those outer folds correct. And then, once I had that the way, it, each of those the way they needed to be, then I could lay it down um, flat uh, and use my two different blades to fold it up, uh, holding it with one blade and then folding with the other blade. And finally got it to where it needed to be. So this is the culmination of uh, easily an hour of messing around with this thing, but I finally got it on there. So I put a drop of glue in the middle and then kind of put it on there, let it dry in the middle, and then push those things around the rotors. I don't think it's a thousand percent straight, but you know what? <laughs> you can only mess with this for so long before you just go, okay, I'm gluing it there and that's where it's staying. So, all right, here we go. These pieces go onto this center, rotor center. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces that go on each rotor. And then the blade slides into this last piece. Uh, what I did was, um, blew up those pieces on you know my computer and printed them out so similar to the other one i can get an idea of what has to happen so that's nice so they they do etch it with where you need to bend it um and so you would bend it toward that etch so to speak so basically it's taken ever so much metal out of there so that when it bends it meets you know yeah, and then this is etched on top with that. And you would bend that that way. And then you would bend this one this way. And then the blade would go in there like that. So they say that's step number one. And then you would put that over that first set of connection points. And then this one... So then that would go down like a 20 degree angle or something. And then the other one would come there, would come back up so that you ended up with something like that. And then this would go over. So this is already over that piece. Then this goes over, ah, and see that's etched. So that fits right in there. And then that is going to go, I see, on that second thing that comes up, okay. And then this piece is pretty complex. So then that goes on the side. Up there, this piece it's folded back on itself. This piece in here is just really thin. Okay, so then that goes like that. Would then go like that. Would then come back like that. Well, yep, and then that goes up against that center piece, over, down, and then that round part. Um, so then I assume step four. Is that underneath there or on top of that? And that's this piece right here. 
and then that just goes on there. Okay, so, and then this one is etched as well. The etching is so that when you fold it down, you know, you've got that opening there in the metal, so to speak, to fold it down. So these will go this way. And that has to be at a 90 degree angle that way. That's going to look like that and then go on this side that way. All right, I think I understand what's going on with each one of these. So starting with those ones that hold the blades, I cut all of them off the fret and then went around and uh, had to sand them at the tips of each one of those surfaces. Unlike the one on the tail rotor, I think I can bend most of these on my small shop bend buddy, whatever this is called. And I think I'll do it on this one over here. So I want to put that right on that line. And then once I get it there, lock it down. This is uh, just a regular razor blade. It's not etched, but it's actually a little raised um, to fit in there. So that has to slide all the way on there. So something like that. The reason for this test, I just wanted to make sure that I can do the rotor. So, you know, the, the blades as the last step and slide them in there. And that appears to be, yeah. And then when you slide it in, then you're right up against um, this piece, you know, inside there. So then, because I'm also thinking ahead of how I would glue, probably put them in there and just touch it and let capillary action do its thing. Okay, so I've got all four of those done. Now we'll deal with these and figure those out. I've got those all filed down. Uh, now it's a matter of bending them. There's a line on that side and there you fold it up. So if that's folded up and now this one, there's a line on this side and that has, to, so that has to be folded up like that. So which do I do first? If I fold that up first, Now, this has to be folded up, and I can probably do that out here, right? And now, fold that up that way. Okay, all right, so you do that fold first. So here's what that looks like, you know, close up. So I think hopefully that should do it. So there's the other four. Okay, so now I move on to, <laughs> I'm going to do this one, uh, which I think is going to be easier than that one. It'll give me a little more practice before I get to that one. So I'm going to do these next. turned out to be a little more challenging um, 
I got, you know, those three came out good right off the bat, but I had to play with this one, so. All right, got those filed down now. I'll start vending them. Okay, so the last pieces to do are these uh, little uh, parts that go up here on top. Okay, that does it for the making of the pieces. Um, now, I have to fit all that onto here. So here we go. According to this, step one is putting these on to there. All right, that's just sitting on there. It's not glued yet. It's just dry fit. And then one of these, you even got to be careful how heavy you breathe. It's amazing. So then that's going to go on there like that. Yeah, and I think it's still too severe a um, angle. So I'm going to kind of flatten it out. And the only way I kind of know how to do that is just push down on it. God. <laughs> As I suspected, this is just super duper 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 touchy. All right, I'm making my way along. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got... Um, so this piece on and then the pieces, you know, on top of that. And then I just put you know, this one on. Okay, there's the first one done. And there's that. So this was the first piece. Then those on the top and bottom are the second one. Then that one on the other side. That's the third one. And then that one on the other side that goes around it is the fourth one. Oh, and then that last one looks a little crooked. Shoot. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Not easy, not necessarily fun, but I'm getting there. All right, one down, three to go. Okay, there's two down. Okay, three down. Now, how am I gonna hold it to do that fourth one? I just gotta love Lego. You can do almost anything with it. So I just flipped that upside down, built it up so it could hang there. Um, now I could put that piece in there. Okay, there we go. Got that piece in there. All right, there we go. There's uh, the main rotor complete. And um, you know, it was quite a bit of work, but I, I have to say it actually didn't go together too bad. Um, and, you know, I folded right on those lines, so everything kind of fit well. Um, you know, is it off here and there? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it is extremely complex and right at the edge of my ability. So, um, you know, I'm happy with the way it came out, I guess. Uh, and there you can see the blades... Um, I'm going to let this fully solidify and dry and everything before I test fit it with the blades. But I did kind of hit it as I was working on the like third and fourth one. I was hitting the other ones and they felt pretty sturdy. So, um, you know, uh, and then, you know, there's the one I did the other day. So um, once that fully, like I said, fully dries and solidifies, I'll test fit it with the uh, blades and then I'll hit it with the silver. And then I believe the center of that is supposed to be black. 
Um, so that is, you know, all of the PE except for those windshield wipers, which again, along with that crane will probably be the last thing that I do. But I am just super happy to be this far done. So I think that'll do it for this video. And, and then the next time, uh, like I said, I'll paint that, um, paint those rotors, and then uh, start putting the decals on, on the uh, model itself. Um, and probably final assembly. I mean, it'll be decals, weathering, and final assembly, I think. Um, so I um, hope you found that interesting. Um, that was very challenging, and I am very glad to be done with it. So with that, um, thanks for watching, and happy modeling.